The holodeck from Star Trek has been successfully replicated using a combination of chat GPT technology and assets from video games. Greetings everyone. Today we will be delving into the fascinating subject of a groundbreaking development by researchers at the University of Pennsylvania. They have ingeniously devised a system known as holodeck, which utilizes artificial intelligence to generate interactive 3D environments based on users' requests. This revolutionary system harnesses the power of large language models, LLMs, to produce an extensive array of indoor settings, surpassing the limitations of traditional robotics research. By employing a meticulously crafted series of concealed queries, Holodeck effectively dissects user requests into specific parameters. To put its capabilities to the test, the researchers explored the system's proficiency in generating scenes that are more complex and challenging to manually create, such as stores, public spaces and offices. Astonishingly, human evaluators expressed a preference for the scenes generated by Holodeck. And now, without further delay, let us embark on our enlightening discussion. Within the realm of Star Trek, the next generation, Captain Picard and his crew aboard the USS Enterprise utilize a remarkable facility known as the Holodeck. This empty chamber possesses the extraordinary ability to manifest three-dimensional landscapes, enabling the crew to both train for missions and indulge in recreational activities. The holodeck is capable of simulating a vast array of environments, ranging from vibrant jungles to the bustling streets of Sherlock Holmes London. These environments are not only visually immersive, but also interactive, offering a deeply engaging experience. Remarkably, the holodeck allows for infinite customization with a simple verbal command. By merely requesting a specific environment, the crew can witness its instant creation within the holodeck's confines. The process known as Sim 2 Real involves utilizing virtual interactive environments to train robots before they are deployed in the real world. However, there has been a surprising scarcity of these virtual environments. According to Yue Yang, a doctoral student working under the guidance of Mark Yatskar and Chris Callison Birch, assistant and associate professors in Computer and Information Science, CIS. These environments are manually created by artists. Yang explains that it can take up to a week for these artists to construct just one environment, as they must make numerous decisions regarding the layout, object placement and colour scheme. The scarcity of virtual environments presents a significant challenge when it comes to training robots to effectively navigate the complexities of the real world. Today's AI revolution relies heavily on neural networks, which necessitate vast amounts of data, including simulations of the physical world. While generative AI systems like ChatGPT are trained on trillions of words, and image generators like Midjourney and DALI are trained on billions of images, the available 3D environments for training embodied AI are only a fraction of that. To successfully develop robots capable of safely navigating real-world environments using generative AI techniques, it will be imperative to create millions or even billions of simulated environments. Holodeck, a revolutionary system developed by Callison Birch, Yatskar, Yang and Lingjie Liu, in collaboration with researchers from Stanford, the University of Washington, and the Allen Institute for Artificial Intelligence, AI2, is a cutting-edge technology that allows users to create interactive 3D environments. Inspired by the Star Trek concept, Holodeck utilizes AI to interpret users' commands and generate an extensive array of indoor settings. With this remarkable system, users have the ability to effortlessly describe and train embodied AI agents within any desired environment. Utilizing the extensive knowledge stored within large language models, LLMs, such as the ones powering ChatGPT and other chatbots, Holodeck harnesses the power of language as a concise representation of the world. Yang explains that LLMs possess a remarkable level of understanding regarding spatial design, owing to the immense volume of text they consume during training. The core concept of Holodeck involves initiating a conversation with an LLM, employing a meticulously crafted sequence of covert inquiries to deconstruct user queries into distinct parameters. Similar to how Captain Picard from Star Trek might request the holodeck to generate a simulation of a speakeasy, researchers have the ability to ask Penn's holodeck to construct a 1B1B apartment of a researcher who owns a cat. 
This process is accomplished through a series of steps. Initially, the system generates the floor and walls, followed by the creation of the doorway and windows. Subsequently, Holodeck utilizes Objaverse, an extensive library of pre-existing digital objects, to search for appropriate furnishings that one would typically find in such a space, such as a coffee table and a cat tower. Finally, Holodeck engages a layout module, which the researchers have specifically designed to regulate the placement of objects, ensuring that there are no peculiar arrangements, like a toilet jutting horizontally from the wall. In order to assess the realism and precision of Holodeck, the researchers conducted an experiment involving 120 scenes. These scenes were created using both Holodeck and Proctor, a previous tool developed by AI2. Several hundred students from Penn Engineering were then asked to indicate their preferred version of each scene, without any knowledge of which tool was used. The students consistently rated the environments generated by Holodeck more favorably in terms of asset selection, layout coherence, and overall preference. In addition to evaluating Holodeck's proficiency in generating apartment interiors, the researchers also examined its capability to create scenes that are less common in robotics research and more challenging to manually construct, such as stores, public spaces and offices. When comparing the outputs of Holodeck with those of Proctor, which were generated using rules established by humans rather than AI-generated text, the researchers consistently discovered that human evaluators favoured the scenes produced by Holodeck. This preference was consistent across a diverse array of indoor environments, ranging from science labs to art studios, locker rooms to wine cellars. In the end, the scientists employed the scenes produced by Holodeck to refine an AI agent that possesses a physical presence. Yatska asserts that the true measure of Holodeck lies in its ability to assist robots in navigating unfamiliar surroundings and ensuring their safety. Holodeck proved to have a significant and beneficial impact on the agent's capacity to navigate various virtual environments, encompassing offices, daycares, gyms and arcades. To illustrate, while the agent's ability to locate a piano in a music room was only around 6% when pre-trained using Proctor and taking approximately 400 million virtual steps, the agent achieved a success rate of over 30% when fine-tuned using 100 music rooms generated by Holodeck. According to Yang, the research in residential spaces has been stagnant in this field for an extended period. However, there is a multitude of diverse environments available and the ability to efficiently create numerous environments for robot training has always been a significant obstacle. Fortunately, Holodeck offers the solution to this challenge. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.